Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's tutorial, I'm doing a different kind of tutorial. This is a blush tutorial. It's very focused on the skin. And as you can see, just uh, such glowy, pretty, blushed, flushed skin. I've been very inspired lately by all of the blush palettes that have come out. In fact, I will, if it's not posted already, have a video comparing and talking about all of the newest blush palette releases. But blush is so in, you guys. It's honestly a spring trend to over over apply blush and I'm so here for it. I love blush. I cannot stop talking about blush. So I was so excited to do this tutorial for you. So for this look, I was inspired by some campaigns for new blush palette releases. So first of all, Natasha Denona. Hers obviously is very, very editorial, but she has the blush very glowy and extremely pink up in this area and over all over the eyelid. I did kind of emulate that but in a more wearable way. And then also another campaign that really caught my eye was the Alamar Cosmetics Blush Trio Collection campaign. So I did buy those blushes. They only released yesterday so obviously I don't have them but they kept the blush very in this area. So there was a lot of blush on the nose and just up in this area. So I kind of combined those two different styles of makeup to kind of create this wearable, very blushy, flushy look. So if you wanna see how I got this look and what products I use, then just keep watching. So, I haven't tested this look out before, so hopefully it turns out okay. We're all spring vibes today, even though it's so cold here in Maryland. So I'm gonna start off with the Pixie Glow Mist. I'm gonna use this to try and avoid my hair because it's straightened. Okay, so we are going to go for like really glowy, pretty skin. So I'm starting off with the MAC Strobe Cream. So this is in the pink one and I'm just running my fingers through that and putting that everywhere. I just put way too much on my fingers. But this is going to be our initial base. It adds a really nice strobe to the face. Like I look sweaty now. And then also before I get to the added color on my face, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Baked Stick. So I don't want this look to have too much dimension. So I'm just using this first before the color goes on. So this is going to add dimension to the skin, but with you know foundation and whatnot over top, it's not going to be overwhelming. And by the way, this stick blends beautifully over my bare skin. So that's sweet. Oh my gosh, I'm like so glowy looking right now. It's crazy. Cream, bronzer, and contour, I'm telling y'all, is where it is at. If you see that, I like scratched myself in my sleep or something. I woke up and I had a scratch on my face. Okay, so for foundation, I'm using my all-time favorite summer glowy foundation. It's a little bit dark on me because it's not summer right now, but I'm using the YSL Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow. And then I will be mixing that with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in number one fair. So I'm going to start off by putting the Charlotte Tilbury right here like all over my cheeks and then that's just going to kind of blend in with the foundation normally um i would grab for the hollywood flawless filter that's closer to my skin tone but since this foundation is a tad bit dark on me i decided it would make more sense to go with the lighter one so we're just going to mix that in now this has extremely light coverage if you are interested in getting this so just be aware of that. It's a really nice light coverage foundation for the summer. So the glow is literally unbelievable right now. It is so gorgeous. I love this. So for concealer, I'm going for something that's not completely matte and full coverage. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. And I am going to set my face just a tiny, tiny bit, especially my under eyes. I'm using the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. So this is really gorgeous for a glowy look, but you still kind of need to set your face. I love this product. Just lightly under the eyes. I was almost super close to forgetting, but I'm going to use that Milk Bronzer Stick. And that's what I'm going to use to define my crease today. Like I said, we're not going for a ton of definition in this look. 
So I will say this had some powder on the brush. So this is a little darker than it would normally go. So just because of that, I'm going to use my foundation sponge and kind of just blend over that. There we go. That really kind of neutralized everything. All right, so I am going to start off with a little bit of cream blush. I'm, of course, going to go into my Natasha Denona Bloom palette, and I'm going into the cream blush. You are more fair like myself. A tiny bit goes a really long way, so I'm just ever so slightly tapping it into a duo fiber brush. As you can see, it's barely on there, but I just want that to work as a cream base. So I just use the tiniest amount, and that is going everywhere and then i'm going a little bit higher than i normally would go with blush because we're kind of fusing the blush and the highlight area together and then kind of blend it over the eyelids so basically all up in this upper area get that color up there and but this by the way is the morphe m404 i believe the last number is like not on there and then i am going to run just the tiniest amount on my nose putting blush on our nose is something we need to do more because it just it looks so much more natural and cute i'm done with the contoured nose just put blush on it okay cool so that's a really good base so here's where i'm going to start kind of building now you can definitely get this look without using so many different blushes but this is a blush tutorial so i am kind of using a lot of different blushes i'm not going to lie so for that general all over slight sheen to kind of start building up that color i'm using gold rush from benefit this is the benefit cheek glitter bronze squad palette to apply this i'm using my most favorite isom x52 brush since gold rush doesn't have the most pigmentation but it does have the sheen that's why i'm using that color first and i'm actually kind of really digging into that color and i'm putting that over my eyelid and up high somebody commented on my video the other day they were like you put on way too much blush and i'm just like won't pack more on sweet so now to get more of a flushed sheen look uh, i'm so sorry if i'm annoying you by going into all of these different palettes but these are the newest blush palettes you can totally recreate this using not a bunch of different blush palettes but i am going into the nars exposed palette because i do want some sheen and i'm going in with this shade right here this is come hit her oh <laughs> come hither Oh my gosh, I was just like, whoa, <laughs> come hit her. I know I complain that this palette really doesn't have pigmentation, but this is going to show up brighter than Gold Rush is what I'm talking about. Yeah, and you guys always try to give me advice on how to use this palette, but honestly, I'm very thankful that you're trying to help me out, but I just don't, I don't like it, you know? If I have to work so hard to get a blush to work, a blush, it's not a good palette. So as you can see, we're really developing this look. I'm loving this. This looks so cute. Oh my gosh, some of you are going to hate this. <laughs> I know it. Okay, so this is the last step because I am trying to make it a little bit more sunburnt wearable. I'm going to take the Glow Cream Base from the Bloom Palette. I'm going to put this right over the highlight area of my cheek. And as you can see, it does have a pinky undertone, so it's going to look really lovely up on the highlight area. You could totally recreate this whole look just using this palette, but since I already did like a whole tutorial review on this palette, I'm, I tried to use other products as well. But this palette's all you need. I'm going to take that on my finger as well, and I'm putting that all over my lid for that glowy look that Natasha has in her pictures on the lids. Like this is turning out so beautiful. And then, so the last product that I'm going to use is the cookie highlighter from the Bronze Squad palette from Benefit. And Jaclyn Hill has made this highlighter pop off, but just know I found it first. <laughs> I've been talking about this highlighter since before it even came out. So, and I'm just lightly putting that just on the tops of my cheeks. And again, we're bringing that all over the lid. We want that really pretty glowy lid. This is gonna be so over the top for some of you, but I was going for this really gorgeous editorial look. And then final step, using that highlighter on a defined brush, I'm going to highlight straight down the middle of the nose. I know some of you hate this, but it's okay. Highlight the inner corners. 
and right here and right here boom okay i look so summer and cute this is exactly what i was going for so i'm gonna go onto the lips before i put mascara on i'm going to use the cream blush from natasha and i'm just patting that eye lip this is kind of a stained look oh that was a little too messy with that And then I do want to put a clear gloss over top, so I'm using the Too Faced Lip Injections Ultimate Lip Plumper. Clear lip gloss is just going to look the best. Mm-hmm. And that's really making the cream blush show up even more. All right, so I'm just gonna go off camera and focus on really mascaring my lashes and I'll be right back. So this is the final look. You guys, I am so obsessed with this look. I look like sunburnt and flushed, but like in a very pretty glowy way. Um, this is a very different type of tutorial. Some of you aren't going to like it, but you know, me being so obsessed with blushes, I am so in love with this. Keep in mind, I did use like three different palettes to create this look, but I just kind of wanted to demo the new blush palette you can totally do this look using totally different products but yeah this is i'm obsessed for those of you who requested like a blush look or a blush tutorial i hope you guys found this helpful i really had a lot of fun remember to subscribe to my channel like this video and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys have a great day